firearms are, are pervasive and what we hear from children and adolescents, they're everywhere and they're used frequently, you know, to bully, to intimidate. Just the mere presence of them scares kids. Uh, my name is Love. Um, I am a junior in high school in Albuquerque. I think that it's traumatizing to be a kid right now to go to school because school should be a place where you are learning and you are growing in order to become a better person in this world, to make this world a better place. And instead, you are afraid of who is gonna walk through the door and if you're gonna make it home that night. And that's horrific, that's awful. And the fact that there is something that there is to do about it, there is control that could be implemented, but it's not. I'm in healthcare and the damage that I've seen done by the bullets that are in these weapons, what they do, um, it's become a public health crisis. So I feel like when I am at school, I am afraid for my life. And I am afraid that I won't, you know, make it to work after school. I'm afraid of that. You know, I have a two-year-old brother at home, and I am afraid that when he goes to preschool, that he won't come home. And that's awful. It's horrific. So the program that me and a few other students are doing right now is uh, guns to garden tools or guns to vases, like you can see right here and you can see right here. All this metal is a part of the barrel that we forged and cut. Taking guns away from the streets and recycling them into these vases. It feels good knowing that we took the guns off, making sure that they'll never shoot again, never hurt anybody ever again. My name is Garrett Vanaclausen, uh, born and raised in Santa Fe, and now currently live in Taos, New Mexico. I have a, it, it's actually a Chinese version of an AK-47. It's a tactical assault weapon. Uh, I've owned it for about 20 years, and that thing has been sitting in my gun safe for 20 years, burning a hole in my conscience. And every time I open uh, the gun safe, I look at that thing, um, and it, it doesn't make me feel good. And so cutting it up today was the right thing to do. It, 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 is, it is a symbol of me standing in solidarity with the thousands of Americans who have died senselessly due to gun violence. And uh, I think again, um, silence and non-action from the gun owning community like me is being complicit in the bloodshed. And so I really want to appeal to the gun owners out there to turn away from the NRA and to stop listening to their propaganda and to start being proactive in supporting common sense gun reform. And when you think of the lives that have been taken by these weapons of war, to take one out of circulation means that a life probably won't be, won't be taken with that gun. That gun will not get circulated and purchased by someone who shouldn't purchase it and use it in a way that it shouldn't be used. And for me as a gun owner, that's a really good feeling. And I think that is a symbol of how an agent of death through this artistic operation is first losing its power, uh, this destructive power, and, but then becoming a liberation of life. So it's like a kind of symbolic transformation but it's also a real transformation. That gave us the opportunity to, to work with students uh, who have been witnesses or victims of, of also this current environment that we're living, uh, uh, where, where their lives are at risk. We've been electrified by the power of art to to change the the something that we, when one would not think that is possible to change.